to a lake to meet up with a friend. There's kind of a, a swimming area that's not on the lake. It's actually over the spillway and back off in the woods. And there's a lot of kids that go back there and swim in this area. It's not that deep. I've never detected it before. I've seen it, but I've never gone back there. So my friend called me up, Jason, a Navy man, and I told him to meet me over here today and we'll go back there and try it. If there's nothing there, you probably won't even see this video that I'm making. But if there is something there, you'll definitely see this video. So hopefully we're going to find something. I know there's a lot of kids that hunt, I mean, that swim back there. And I know that there's at least a phone because the people in the lake told me they lost their phone back there. And so uh, I'm on my way to meet up with Jason. And so I will see you at the lake. this creek and gets this bedrock out here and then behind me is a swim area where a lot of people uh, go back out there and they swim so we're going to some fish, fish, people fishing right now so we may just wait but we're going to get in there and see how deep it is and see if there's anything that can be found and hopefully there might be something we can uh, we can come out with so uh, let's get in let's see what we can find well we didn't find anything down here but a bunch of trash i found that one cigarette lighter and uh, water stinks lots of trash so we're gonna go back up to the lake and see what we can get there how about it Jason yeah I'm ready all right see you in the water my first good find I found a little change but it's not a good ring it's just a uh, I think it's just gonna be a aluminum ring it rang up as an 81 but uh, I'll take an 81 I'll take anything than nothing at all right all right let's uh, keep on going and uh, maybe there's gonna be a good silver or gold out here for me all right let's keep on swinging Target right here it's uh, jumping all over the place it's ringing up from a 40 to a 50 to a 60 to a 69 so I figured it was something stainless steel or something kind of had holes in or whatever and uh, this is what I got I got a, a knife here and uh, I haven't even opened it up yet it looks pretty nice got a clip on it so let's keep on going Well, I got my second signal just a little bit past that knife, probably about uh, 30 feet away, and I was getting a jumpy 77 signal, so I'm thinking it's just going to be a Lincoln Penny. But check that out. That's going to be a nice little silver ring. Jumping around. It's got some marking in it. I can't see it yet, but uh, hey, let me get in the sunlight where you can see my face and not the glare on the camera. Anyway, it's a nice ring right there out here about chest deep of water. So uh, let's keep on going. That's a knife and a ring and uh, hopefully there's gonna be some more I'm not even to the best part of the lake yet so hopefully where I find most of the stuff is still over here to my right so let's keep on going Oh, 
All right, I'm down here back on this other end of the swimming area. I was getting a 66 to a 69, and that's always, when it's jumpy like that, it's gonna be a tungsten ring. Most times, sometimes it can be a, a fishing weight. But uh, anyway, I dove down, I got my head all wet, dove down and, and got it, and sure enough, it is a nice uh, tungsten ring with a red stripe down the middle of it. And that's my second ring out here. Still on this side of the lake, haven't gotten to the other side yet. But uh, just working back and forth, digging some money, digging some stuff. So I'll take it. I've been out here about an hour. All right, let's keep on going. Well, as many targets as I've dug out of here, I dug a lot of pull tabs, bottle caps, and lots and lots of money, but not a single piece of jewelry. So I know it hasn't been hunted. I guess, guess there's no rings that have been fallen, or necklaces or earrings. All right, I got about a 20 minute drive down to my next location, so I'll see you out in the water. <laughs> Well, I'm sitting here in about uh, less than waist deep water. I've got a good signal here. It's an 85. 85 on my detector is always like a, a silver ring. But let you look at it here. See if I can find it. If I can find it again. There it is. It's a solid 85. So uh, let's see if we can go down there and find this together. Let me see if I can pinpoint it again. That's going to be right. Yep, that's going to be a silver ring. Looks like it's going to be a James Avery. I can't read it, but it looks like it's going to be a James Avery heart lock, what they call a heart lock key. I've got one of these, but a bigger version of it. All right, that's my second James Avery for the season. Uh, I'll take that any day. Boy, I like James Avery. Yeah, that'll clean up real nice. All right, that's four rings on this video and uh, one ring today. I'm going to spend a little bit more time here in the shallow water. I'm just about, about five deep is all I am right now. So how about that? Yeah. I'm headed up to today is it's still flooded and so I don't know if I'm really going to be able to get very far out but I'll try to search the shallow ends just to see there's people swimming as long as people are swimming there's going to be jewelry and treasure in the lake so uh, so I don't know what to expect on this lake it's the first time I've uh, hit it this year and uh, the year's still young uh, things don't really pick up till after 4th of July in my parts anyway so hopefully we're going to get out there. We're going to find some uh, good old rings today. So if I do, I definitely turn the camera on, definitely show it to you. So I will see you out in the water. Well, I moved on to another swim area on this lake. I'm down here uh, at this one particular area down by the dam. It's really flooded. Not a lot of stuff out here. But uh, I did find one ring here. I've got a lot of people around me, so I'm kind of keeping it quiet as best I can. But anyway, I got a nice silver ring and uh, ring up as an 83. So I'm gonna move on now to another swim area and see if we can get anything out there. So I'll see you out in the water. I just got this 76 signal and uh, it's gonna end up being a silver ring. It says uh, sterling on the inside, I believe. I can barely see out here in the sun, but it's got like a, a clear or a citrine looking heart shaped stone with an irregular design. That's why it's kind of ringing up a 76. I thought I was digging a stinking sinking. And what a pleasant surprise when I looked in my scoop and saw this ring. This is number five for the uh, the trip and uh, number two for the day. 
but uh, anyway out here at the, this lake and uh, water's real high but uh, there's still people swimming and uh, still things to be found so I'm gonna stay out here about 30 more minutes and if I don't find anything I'm gonna call a day and go on in so all right let's keep on rolling I made it back from the lakes today and uh, had a pretty good week this week I didn't find everything just today I found everything over this week from Monday to this Saturday but uh, anytime you find a ring it's always a good day and I got five rings on this trip so I was really excited and I uh, got a lot of other stuff too some things I don't normally find so let me spin you around let me show you what I got all right here's all my trash all my aluminum cans foil Went ahead and uh, stepped on these, so I went ahead and took them out of the swim area for no kids would find, uh, break those and step on those later on. Bunch of uh, different weights, fishing weights, and 22 shell wire, all your typical bottle caps, uh, all your square pull tabs, and all your beaver tails here. And uh, ended up, I found a cork. Didn't detect it. I just uh, it just floated by me, so I picked it up and put it in my thing. Got me a fork, and uh, got a pair of uh, prescription glasses. I've got a big lighter and a Zippo lighter, and then I got two toy cars, and I got lots of money. I got one, two, three, four, five dollars and seventy-five cents in quarters. I got uh, eighty cents in dimes. 20 cents in nickels and then I've got 5 10 15 16 cents in pennies and I dug this I was thinking this was a quarter it's the same size and it's the United States of America but it's hold but it says United States says Philippines on it this is a Philippine one centavo I've never dug one of these that's neat and uh, but from the Philippines. I'll put that in my foreign coin collection, but you can see that was hold there. I thought it was a quarter. You can see it's the same size as a quarter. But I did find a cool looking knife, and uh, it's just one little blade right there. Found an old junk ear ring and another loop ear ring. But I did have a good trip on the lakes with my rings this time. I've got six rings. This here is just a junker ring. It's nothing but just aluminum. This ring here is a, a plated, silver plated copper is what this is going to be. But it's a very pretty ring. Big heart there. Real nice. I like that one. Even though it's not precious metal, it's plated. I got another tungsten carbide ring. This is, uh, I was told by Sergeant Whitey, that this is what they call a fireman's ring. Firemen's wear this with the red stripe there showing about firemen. And I looked it up and sure enough, that was right. So a tungsten carbide ring. Always a nice find there. I found this ring. It's, uh, I think that's going to be a citrine stone in the shape of a heart. It's going to be 925 silver ring. It was ringing up weird because of the weird shape on it, but it's still a, a good ring. I got a nice, uh, I called this a heart lock ring or something like that in the video, but I looked it up. It's actually a key to my heart, James Avery ring. And that makes sense right there, the key to my heart. Uh, so that's two James Avery rings I found two weeks in a row and then this is going to be my nicest ring this has got a real nice uh, silver look to it I like this one it's got some good markings in it in there I have to look and see what those are but it's definitely silver so there are the rings for the for the trip one junker one silver plated copper one tungsten and three silver rings and so, had a good trip out at the lakes today. Again, there's my cameras in the water. Here's the scoop cam. I hunt with the AT Pro. And so, there's all the trash. And here's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure is not what you can find in a lake and put it out on your tailgate. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, my friends. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. <laughs>